Hello everybody, happy Monday. And for all my Canadian friends, happy Thanksgiving. So I kind of mentioned on my blog that I was gonna go live, but then I never got to actually do a little post saying that I was gonna go live. So I'm gonna go live in case you missed that. <laughs> um, but I'm doing something a little bit odd tonight. I normally don't create the card from scratch online because I do all my cutting ahead of time because I wasn't using a Stampin' Up! trimmer. And so I kind of was like, you know, I'm not gonna show off other products, whatever. So we can do this all tonight, all with Stampin' Up! My Stampin' Up! trimmer, I'm a happy girl. So we're gonna start off with a piece of Thick Whisper Wet Cardstock, just a sec. And so with these, hi Donna, hi Debbie. What I do with these is I actually take it and I score one entire piece. So I go to four and a quarter, okay? And I do the whole thing in one shot. And then that I take, see, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is my crease mark is beautiful and in there. Yes, people. And then I go through and now I take this and do two cards from that one piece of paper. So I used to do this. Thank you, Debbie. So I used to do this where I used to cut all my cardstock and then I would go through and score it all after. And so then you'd have to do two sets of, I, you know what? We're not even going to comment on the fact about how not bright that was. Okay. So I was actually coming on at eight tonight and then I totally got sidetracked and was working on my team meeting packages because they are going in the mail tomorrow. Okay, so we're gonna play. Hi, Megan. Thank you, Brenda. We're gonna play with Snowman Season for just a second because I'm an idiot. Hang on. I left. We just got back from the lake about an hour and a half ago and I left my DSP over on the side table. Well, my husband carried my bins there we go my bins in I carried my bins in just a sec so we're gonna use that super cute coordinating thank you Sharon designer series paper and it was the let it snow DSP okay I get it and so we're gonna grab was this one here that I wanted did I not put oh there it is that's the piece I was gonna use and then I want a piece of the red polka dot so just a second and I know I don't have any small pieces so I've got to see if I can find it or I guess we could always do what if I did a different color background I will let's change this one up you can see two different versions hi Christine oh you're gonna love it it's so cute okay so with this one just a second I like how I have 90 things now on the table so we're gonna start oh is it 10 p.m there no I know I'm never on this lake it's 8 p.m here okay so we're gonna go to this one and I'm gonna do a four inch by five and a quarter is it bad that I'm giddy about this thing? It was actually, what I found on the weekend was it was amazing. I had to cut some really thin little strips and that's really hard to do on a guillotine cutter. Yes, we have a public holiday for Thanksgiving. So I had today off, I go back tomorrow. Okay, next thing we need is we need a piece of, uh, I'm trying to figure out what color I used. I think I used Coastal Cabana. Okay, so Coastal Cabana is a bright, this helps. I'm looking in the bins above my um, table. Um, that's where I keep all my scraps. Okay, we got it. Hi, Pam. Oh, it's midnight there. Oh, honey, you need to be in bed. Okay, so with this one, oh, this one's already been cut for other things, but I'm gonna go here on, I want a three and a half. Okay, and I want it by four. Just a sec, we're gonna get this. I love how you guys all see each other on here. It's so cute. Three and a half by four. Okay, that's gonna go on there. And then with this one, we've already got it. And I think I have it cut down to three. I do three and three eighths. Okay. Does this make sense? People, if this is three and a half, then I went to three and three eighths. Okay. Now on this, I'm going to cut one and a quarter inch strips. So if you look right now, just a second, I can tell you I'm at eight and a quarter. So we're going to jump down to seven. We're going to do math here. People roll with me down to seven. Okay. Now we're going to go down to five and three quarters. And then we're gonna go, oops, I got that stuck on the edge. From five and three quarters, we're gonna go down to four and a half. Everyone like their Sunday night math? Or Monday night math, <laughs> I don't even know what day. Do you know what day of the week it is? Because apparently I do not. There we go, okay, so we want these guys. I want guts. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, this one can go away. We're gonna keep this scrap, look at that, I can put my trimmer. That was so weird to actually like use a trimmer live. I don't do that, it's so not my thing. Okay, we're grabbing the scraps. You ready? Jeanette, you're lost? Why are you lost? Are you lost because you haven't seen me do that before? It was weird. 
Tell me why you're lost, Megan. Okay, next thing we're gonna grab is we are gonna grab one of the Whisper White circles. This is my white scrap bag, so you can check this out. Oh, math hurts my brain. <laughs> I love it. Okay, and then I've got a scrap here. I was just kind of telling you how I do my how I do my bits, okay? So with this one, this is a three and a half by four. Hi, Phyllis, the math. And then here, we just want to make sure that we put them down in the right order so they still create that same picture. Does that make sense? Okay, so that was three and a half by four is my Coastal Cabana, which means that my strips of paper are three and three eighths by one and a quarter. Hi, girls. Of course, it was beautiful out today when we left. Just a sec. I'll put these down. I can't talk in place or they're going to end up all loopy. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Yes, I'm dorky. I draw, I like draw out full plans for these when I'm doing them um, for the math because I want the math to work. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to snail this guy right down on our card front. Nothing crazy is happening here. Okay, people? Ta-da! We got. Uh, from there, this guy, again, I just snailed him down. I didn't use any dimensionals here because I get a little poppy-uppy. Brenda Harrison, what are you doing up then, girl? Go to bed. You should be sleeping. And I'm not going to help you sleep. I'm too yippy-yappy. Okay, there we go. I'm going to glue that down in the front. Okay, we've got this one, but I'm not going to use this yet. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to this stinking adorable set. And we are going to grab this snowman right here. We're going to grab my block. Okay, so for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp it with my memento right onto some Whisper White cardstock, okay? So go like that. Make sure he's inked. ta -da. Okay, now this part's super easy because we've got this adorable punch. Now I do want this guy to stick up, so we're going to jump in. Sorry, I can't breathe or I'll schmuck it up. Pop him out. Now, I know you all saw bits shooting around there, yes? Okay, so from those bits, what you're going to see right now is we are going to take a few, well, I'm actually going to stamp, I'm going to stamp my bits first. We're not going to use the ones that just shot out that were plain white. So we've got a few more pieces in here that we're going to steal. Okay, so I have got the snowflakes, I have got the hat, and I have got one arm branch. Now, I'm only using one arm branch because I'm just going to, stamp it twice and then I'm going to punch them out okay there we go so we need I want early espresso thank you Angie hi care okay let's close this up so you guys can still see which set we're using okay so on here now I do pay attention to one thing I'm like okay on the punch I don't I'm gonna put them going upwards and I'll use that one side so I'm gonna do one there um and then I'm gonna do one way over here and you'll see why Okay, so when I do the first one, I'm going to stick it. Oh yeah, I'm going to smuck the both. We're going to do the first one over here. And now these are not hard to line up. If I make a mistake lining up, it's only because I'm keeping it under the camera for you versus like kind of in my line of sight. Okay, so now you can actually do a trick where you line these all up and you stamp it all in one shot. But because I was doing a bunch of different colors, I really wasn't worried about getting it all done in one shot. Now we want to go back to that moment. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Is this the party? Oh, this is the party, girl. Everybody's on. Because, you know, we should all be in bed or I should be doing other things to get ready for school for tomorrow. And yet I am not. Okay, so on here, I'm going to stamp that cute little hat. And we're just going to go in here and we're going to get that last bit out. Now, if you don't know how to line them all up to punch in one shot, I'm going to give you a little trick. Okay, so what you would do, and I'm just going to use this piece of paper, is you would take your punch and you're going to punch it out on here. You're in Thunder Bay right now? Why are you in Thunder Bay? Carrie, I'm totally confused. Okay, for those of you who don't know, I'm actually from Thunder Bay. Well, my relatives are all still there. Okay, now what I would do at this stage in the game is with my, oh, stamp and scrub, which, or my chamois, which is rock hard people because apparently I left it open. So I can't do this right now because I'm going to get dirty hands. But what I would do is I would take all of these bits, okay, and I've got my little cutout. So I would lay them into my little cutout like that. 
doot doot and stick them all in and you've got more than one branch, right? So you can go like this. You can stick him into his cutout. And then once you've got everybody in place, can you see that or am I down too low? I'm gonna slide up. Okay, so you've got everybody in place. Then you take your block and you over top. Okay, so now you've got everybody where everybody needs to go to get it all punched out. Does that make sense? Sure. No, it's too late at night for me to make sense. Okay, next step. Now I'm hoping we didn't lose anything. So we've got, I have one snowman arm. Does anybody know where the second snowman arm went that is stamped? Not you. We can't have lost his arm already, did I? Nope, there's two, we're good. Okay, hi core. Next, put this away. Uh, what do I need? Now I want, I'm gonna go with a little bit of pool party on this, okay? So we're gonna go, oh, maybe I didn't mean to go Bermuda Bay. Maybe I meant to go Coastal Cabana. I think I did, oh well. We're getting crazy tonight. Okay, let's take this guy. Now this guy, I am going to ink it up. Kara, do you have family there? How did I not know this? Or did I know this and I have no brain? Okay, don't answer that question because we, we all know the answer. So if you notice what I'm doing here is I'm stamping this off. Why? Because I feel like it would be way too intense if I went and did that kind of full force, okay? So we just went there. Happy Thanksgiving, Cor. Did anybody eat as much as I did? Like I'm feeling a little disgusting right now. I feel like that's all I've done for three days is eat. Okay, we're gonna put this away. Don't put it down, put it away. Got it, people? Okay, we're going in. We got a little bit of pumpkin pie, and so we're gonna pumpkin pie the nose. I am going to steal my pool party. You guys know I love my pool party. Just a second, so what we're gonna do here, oops, I feel like there's comments coming. Hi, Dot, happy Thanksgiving. So jealous. Okay, and I'm just gonna run that pool party right over the side of him just to give him a little bit more of a shadow on that one side. Yes, can you see that? I feel like I'm gonna slide up, there we go. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is I am going to grab my basic black ones. We're gonna go right here, okay? And we're gonna take this, I'm gonna start off with the darkest. And so just, I'm not really getting too crazy with the blending on this hat. He's pretty tiny, you guys. And I know for me, I find that if I try and blend in too small of a space, I actually end up making it run. Good morning from the Netherlands. Okay, so come in here. Do, do, do. Make that noise. It'll help you with your coloring. And so I only do maybe a third of it with the darker of the two. Now, it's gonna be hard, I feel like it's gonna be hard on camera to see that there is actually two different shades of the black and you can see it if you're, or I can in person. I don't know how well it'll show on camera. How's the blurriness tonight? I've been reading about that because I've been trying to find out why it's doing it. Okay, so we've got that little guy done there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go real red because that's what's in the DSP, okay? So with the real red, I'm not gonna go in. And we're gonna do one, two, three little berries. And then I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to stripe his hat between, and I'm gonna use the shaded spruce and the real red, okay? Doot, doot. Okay. Come in here. Shaded spruce, shaded spruce. And we're just gonna alternate the ones on his little band on his hat. Okay, put that back. Okay, next step. What do we got? Stamps are all good. Oh no, they're not all good. I've realized I forgot something. We need a little white strip. Just a second. We're gonna find a white strip. Well, I don't have to stress about this because if it doesn't work, I have a trimmer and I can now trim that. Huh, crazy concept. Oh, see, that's sad. And it's always amazing to go away on vacation, but <coughs> being away from my pets always gets me. Okay, so we are going to go, I think I'm gonna go Coastal Cabana on the sentiment. Okay, so we're gonna ink this up. And where's my sample card so I remember what I'm doing? Uh, I'm gonna go in here. Okay, we got that one. It's super weird, my comments are not scrolling. I'm having to scroll down to find you. Well, not to find you particularly. Okay, ready? Come on back over here. Now we can do this now because we have a trimmer that will do this for us. So I'm gonna take it in. I'm just gonna make sure that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Look at that. I was able just to cut off a tiny bit, which was what I wanted to do. Okay, next step, we are grabbing my tailored tag punch. 
I'm just gonna use my trimmer one more time. I think I'm a bit trimmer obsessed right now. And we're gonna hack off some of this, okay? We don't need it. Okay, so here, come in this end, and we're gonna go like this. Check where that is. And I'm gonna kind of just use this to flag my end. If you've never used this thing to flag your end, you need to. It's so much easier. Okay, now we have one last thing. I feel like, do you need to see this? Are you okay if I just go to my uh, die cutting machine here and I'm gonna grab us one layering circle that matches that? Um, I feel like it's a, you know what, Zach, look at that. Look at the card, pretty card. Okay, envision it going together. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna go da, da, put that one down in there. Okay, we got that, we got our bits, everything seems to be falling into place here. As long as it doesn't fall, we're good. Okay, so we're gonna take you and then this one I'm gonna pop up because everything is better popped up. Ah, de, et I was playing on the weekend. I actually, this was exciting because we had, so, I had so much stuff to do this weekend, but I got to play and I got four cards made and they are with this amazingly gorgeous time limited bundle that I showed you guys the other day called Christmas Rose that is coming out and I got four cards <coughs> made with it and I was so excited. Okay, so this, we're gonna give it, we're gonna go like that and then I'm just gonna slap him down, okay? Looks like a soggy week ahead. I know. Oh my gosh. Did you look at that? It's just supposed to, as my girlfriend's three-year-old son would say, it's disgusting. It's super disgusting. Okay. So we're going to go like that. So I snailed down. Oops. I meant to snail down. You have to put the snail on it for it to snail down. We're going to snail down one end and we're going to pop up the outer edge. Okay. So we're going to go like that. Da -da. Then we'll take him. We are going to give him, whoa, he got double decker there. Slap some dimensionals on him, and then we're gonna stick him right in there, okay? Now his little hat, because I need it to kind of stick up to the snowman's height, I'm actually going to take this dimensional, I'm gonna take my scissors, and I'm gonna cut it in half, okay? I'm slow, stepped away and came back, thought you were stamping in French or something. <laughs> I can't see the rest of your comment. It cut you off. It just says more. I have to go back and read it after. Un, deux, trois. I was stepping in. Well, I was just counting in French. Getting crazy. Okay, so on this, I'm actually taking a half a dimensional. And you could do this with your mini dimensionals too, people. You don't have to get weird and start cutting stuff. And I'm stacking two half dimensionals. Reason being, I've got to get this hat up to the same layer as the snowman. There we go. I feel like he needs a little bit of snow. Come here. We're going to stick a bit of snail. Do you like this? This is that was my like <laughs> super classy technique. Hold up my hand and squish it on. Okay, so we gave him that. Next thing we're gonna do. You're bringing back the warm sunshine. Good. Okay, so I'm coming in here and I'm just sticking a little bit of snail on my snowman's arms. We're gonna stick one under there, and I'm just doing. I would normally pull out my silicone mat, but I feel like I've made you guys suffer enough through some of this tonight. Okay, we're gonna go like that. Now, are you ready? We're doing my favorite part next. I'm obsessed. Where is it? Here it is. Okay, I've got this. Check it out. What have we got? Corey, I promise to keep it PG tonight. The conversation is not going south. So what I am doing right now is I am plugging in my heat gun for you. This is my old one. My other one's up at the lake. Why have the old one here and the new one at the lake? I'll never know. Okay, so words of advice. Shake this up before you apply them. Hello, Diane. Diane, this is part of the class kit to go. For my snowman, I was working on it this weekend. I'll send you the registration link tonight. Okay, so here we go. Now what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna take it and we're gonna go, we're gonna give him a couple of snowballs. So we're gonna throw one up here and then we're gonna throw one down uh, where here. Okay, and then we're gonna throw one. We're literally throwing the balls. Okay, now the one piece of advice I was given was if you have a um, not a balloon, a bubble. Pop it. Okay. You don't want the bubbles in there. PG is so overrated. Puff pay. Look at Megan. She's like, I know what you're going to do. Okay. So now we're just going to take this. We have to give my heat gun a second to warm up. 
I was squealing again at the lake when I was doing this. It's so satisfying, you guys. I so I want you to watch. There he goes. Look at him. Doo, doo, doo. So cute. Okay, he's all puppy. We got one snowball. Oh, Kevin. We got a second snowball. Woo, it just grew. Did you see that? Okay, we're going to the third one. Try not to burn my hands. And we got a third snowball. So we got some super good snowballs on there. I almost want to go rewatch the ball. I know. Well, the ball episode was quite comical. Now, the only thing I probably should have done was I probably should have done those in advance. I don't know if you guys noticed, but when you heat up your card, you actually loosen your glue because you're like warming up the glue. Anyway, there you go. So you can see this super sweet snowman. Check it. It grew. It <laughs> PG, PG. There he is. So there's his friend, and there was the friend that was done, and that was with the red uh, background DSP, okay? So you can see both options there. So same package of uh, designer series paper, but just a couple different color options, yes? So my dears, there you go. This one, watch for the details. This is from, I have to fussy cut the snowman in bits until you're a new bunch. Don't fussy cut the snowman's bits. Um, but this is my class kit to go that is for October. So you'll see this coming out tonight and it includes the snowman season stamp set. And you have the option of purchasing the punch as well. And then it's always a five card class. So you get five adorable cards. Um, and well, what I do is you'll have the stamps. So if you buy the punch, well, then you're good to go. If you don't, you have to do some fussy cutting, but that's okay. Um, and then you would get all the bits to make all five of your cards. So exciting. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Have an amazing evening. Remember, um, if you're wanting to purchase this online, you can actually head to shopwithnorthshorestamper.com and use this week's hostess code, and you end up getting a fun little PDF in the mail for all orders over $25 and a PDF with a make-and-take pack for anything over $50. Thank oh, the snowman, it's a punch. It's right here, sweetie. There you go, Jojo. Super cute. Okay, so you'll see the details on my class kit to go tonight. Thanks, guys.